one modification which we made is the television that was in the rig was originally a flat screen 32 inch television. Well, I'm kind of a television-aholic, I guess. So I wanted a bigger TV. So, where the TV was, we had them build a standout behind it, and then we mounted a 48-inch curved screen Samsung television. And that opens up to give us access to the electronics for the TV outside. Here is the controller itself. We put a power strip in here. Here's the hookups. And it's mounted with two very strong clip brackets that allow it to shut and stay in place. Directly below the television is an electronic fireplace that came with the RV. And it also was originally just attached flat to that wall. So we wanted to have it again, a little bit of extra room being the full timers we are. We had them put that on a piano hinge. Right there. And then what we keep in here is the manuals that come with every kind of thing that you get. And here's the large suitcase from Tiffin with the manuals that they gave us for the RV. That's where we keep those types of things. And then it also, the also has this hook right here that it hooks on when it goes back so it latches closed to the right of the television in the original production model this area did not have a cabinet instead it was just open to the wall and in there, you sent a European type reclining chair. Well, since there's only two of us and we already have four chairs in here, we didn't see any real need for that. We rarely travel with anyone else. And so we had a cabinet built to fit into this particular space. On top, it has the exact same Corian countertop that is in the rest of the RV. The cabinetry we actually had built by an individual who worked in the Tiffin cabinet shop and he worked after hours from his home and so he is the one that built this but it's built to look exactly like the rest of the cabinets in the rig. It has one drawer about 15 inches deep and 34 inches wide and 4 inches from top to bottom in it. And then below it has three doors. The stuff there goes all the way to the back wall which is about 15 inches. In this area right here, we store our Epson inkjet color printer. My wife is a big crafter, so she has her colored papers for crafting and card making there. And then over here, we had an area where we stored games. 
and uh, other supplies that she would use in her crafting. In the original production of the van, all four of these cabinets were just one long, large, open cabinet that are tall, quite tall. Well, we know that not everything you buy is tall, and so we wanted to divide up part of that for shorter items, and so we had adjustable brackets put in to the first two cabinets and one shelf put into each of those. You can see how sometimes we made them taller and sometimes shorter depending on what it was. And then the last two cabinets, since many things are tall and need more space, boxes with cereal and whatnot in it, we left those open. So here is Irene's coffee maker that takes up the full height and a utensil caddy that would not fit if you didn't have full height. Original production of the rig, this particular cabinet was so deep that you really couldn't reach into the back of it. And so what we had them do was put that onto a slide tray like the bottom half of it. The slide tray in the front is cut down so you can get things more easily and they come to you. In the original production of the van, this cabinet was only six inches deep. And it seemed like a bunch of wasted space. And so we decided that we would want it deep enough to put two rows of t-shirts in. Anybody who RVs knows you get t-shirts from everywhere you go. And so this actually holds a significant amount more of clothing now and is uh, much more functional as a upper cabinet. In the original production unit, the two drawers on the left here were just a single tip-out hamper drawer. And again, we wanted more space for holding clean clothing, and so we did that. You can see above that is the two cabinets are slotted for the electronics so they can properly vent and heat and then this television was the television that was originally in the front and so we had it moved back here because it was bigger than the one that was here and we had a cabinet built behind it that again holds a significant amount of clothing or anything else that someone might want to put in it and the television is just on a couple of hydraulic lifts and then goes down and you just have a piece of velcro tape that we use to hold it closed while we move and so you can see that that is about oh, about 10 inches deep there initially this side table beside the beds on both sides had this door in front when you opened the door it only went in about five inches and then was solid wood after that and on the side was a place where you could drop magazines in that seemed kind of dysfunctional to us and so we put a solid side in it and the individual again who worked on Tiffin motorhome cabinets built this for us where now it has two probably two foot long drawers that go in there and this one, my wife has some of her jewelry that she keeps. It still has a small area for storage right there. But that drawer, because we got rid of the drop-in magazine thing, goes all the way back and is in now in behind this door, which closes. On the other side, we use it for socks. Yes, the other side has socks in it, as my wife just said. Mm -hmm. This is the full bathroom in back, and... As we come back here and uh, let's say do our business, we realized, hey, it'd be nice to have a place to put a iPhone while you're on the toilet. And so we had this put in and this box that's underneath of it, again, made with the same Corian cabinet top and the same wood is where we actually store the hose and all the fittings for the 
under the rig vacuum cleaner, built-in vacuum cleaner. Central vac. Central vac, thank yes. you, that's the mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. And so uh, made this quite functional. Anyone that knows much about RVs know they have a tendency to have very small medicine cabinets. This one was no different in the original production. This double chested medicine cabinet was only about three to four inches deep at the most. You could only fit one uh, row of pills in. And so we had the depth doubled. And I really take one of those out and show how deep that is by holding it to the side. So you can see that that's about eight inches deep now. And so we have our pills in there. We have many other things uh, in There's there. There's a lot and of room for toiletries. Yep, and both of those are the exact same depth as you can see. And it doesn't bother the sink at all because it doesn't come out as far as the, uh, the faucet for the sink. We are all the way back in the back closet area now and this is where the washer and dryer is. And this area beside just had a single shelf on it, that one single shelf. And again, trying to get more space for storage. We had them install adjustable brackets and now we have three separate shelves in there and I use this area to store my ties. Uh, Irene uses this area to store stuff like Swiffer stuff and and uh, just different things like that. One of the other things we did back in the back wardrobe area is this came with a half inch steel rod and uh, if you do any full timing you have to have a lot of clothes because you have to have clothes for every season and so we put in a full one inch steel rod the length of this and it's held up by three of these brackets and that way we can hang a lot of clothes back here without any difficulty. Area on the right side in the wardrobe area originally stopped with this Corian cabinet with just three drawers in it. And so what we had done was build this cabinet on top that has one large pull-out drawer and then two doors that open to allow again additional uh, storage. Now as you look at this from the outside of the RV it actually covers the window but that window is not there anymore. Tiffin has decided to do this in all their 45s now. Put the extra storage cabinet back here. If anybody's ever owned an RV they know one of the things that gets in the way is shoes. And so what we picked up I believe it was at Camping World was this shoe rack made out of canvas that you put each individual shoe in. It goes all the way around three sides of the bed. And so uh, that's where we store our shoes. Will not see another Tiffin RV like ours. We have a special paint job on the outside. The decaling is all the same as other 45 LPs. And the basis of it is what is called the cinder wood. But we had them take out the brownish red and drop in this blue green teal color uh, instead of that and so our cat coach really as the old saying goes really pops when people look at it it's really uh, been a fan favorite so to say taking this down the side of it at our port home here in Mission Texas we ordered our coach with two of the pass-through slide trays in two of the bays. 